Southeast Asia is a, if you look at, you know, Southeast Asia, it is, you know, 10 countries usually classified as ASEAN. Um, and I've selected 15 photographers from working in different kinds of photography. Some of them is like doing documentary work. Some of them are dealing with conceptual photography. And my idea is really to put like different genres of photography together on the same platform. I'm interested in people who are working in their own environment. I'm interested in photographers from Thailand, working in Thailand and telling us, you know, stories and issues about Thailand. So that's why the, the, the exhibition is titled Notes from the South, because I think photographers are like, you know, the, the, our eyes on the ground and the people on the ground and they react to the situation, you know, in their own countries, in their art and in their artistic practices. I mean, that's the basis of how I select photographers. Um, I think, you know, because China and, and, and Southeast Asia has such a long history, you know, of relationship, but um, a lot of the discussion has always been economics, but actually China's relation with, with Southeast Asia has always also been cultural and religious. And so I think it's, it's a good opportunity, you know, that the immediate region of China, you know, through the eyes of these photographers, I mean, the issues and the, you know, the stories of Southeast Asia can be seen in Changsha. So I think that's the, that's the idea of the, the general idea of the exhibition. This is probably the first festival that is in a major city where you have like a big, ready, eager and keen population uh, of residents who are interested to find out more about contemporary photography. I think that is, that is, that is really the strength of, 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 of Changsha and the Hunan province. And um, I, I think that's why I think the festival has a lot of potential. Um, because you, you get such a big public and such an eager and keen public, you know, interested to find out about photography. Uh, so it's really, I think, the, of course, to get the first edition off the ground um, is very important. But I think the challenge is for the organizers to see how they want to take the festival for the second edition, where they want to bring the festival to in the second edition. That's the, that's the real challenge. But I think the potential for, for IOPF is very, very big.